This little box here is my new ED Tracker Pro and in this video I'll be showing you some clips from Elite Dangerous and Armour 3 and in between the videos I'll also talk about the setup I've used to get this working well in both games. Five, four, flight assist off. Two, one, engage. One three I really wanted was a head tracking device after seeing Look Inverted video on YouTube and seeing how he was making use of this combined with flight assist off. Although the majority of play is still looking ahead, I can make use of the head tracking to check my proximity to obstacles and ensure I don't have a nasty collision. So just then I was able to keep track of a moving fighter by looking above and observing where they went. When I lose the fighter I can rotate my view above to find them again and keep tracking the target. I find this really helps with the flight assist off, just to keep me aware of my surroundings and direction of travel. Under attack. Shields offline. Taking damage. I use two applications to manage the ED Tracker Pro. The first is the ED Tracker Pro UI, and the second is Open Track. You want to use Open Track if you intend to use ED Tracker outside of Elite, as it can simulate Track IR and Free Track protocols. Note that I've set the scaling in ED Tracker to 1. This allows Open Track to do the hard work with its mapping tool. Don't jump into Open Track config until you've configured ED Tracker according to the instructions. I also keep the hotkey unassigned and let OpenTrack manage the reset. I've mapped the yaw, pitch and roll to Joy 2, 3 and 4. This took some experimentation, I assume this would be the same for other ED trackers. I use OpenTrack's hotkeys to allow recentering and zeroing the view. Recentering redefines what straight ahead is according to where you are looking when you press the key. Zeroing basically turns off the head tracking and returns the view to whatever you last defined as a head to be. Roll has been inverted. And I don't bother configuring game detection at this time as the settings work well in Elite and Armour 3. Curves can be set up to be different for positive and negative, which basically means you can have a different sensitivity for left, right, up, down, or head tilt, side to side. Your is your head turning left and right, and I've kept sensitivity low up to around 10 degrees. By the time at 45 degrees, I'm almost looking behind myself. Defining some asymmetry with the pitch is quite useful if you're like me, your headphones fall off when you look either up or down. I've enabled both protocols, which doesn't cause an issue for both games. That's about it. You'll need to start open track before games. Note that it may need stopping and starting between games. This last clip shows some of the Armour 3 gameplay with helicopters. I've had a lot of frustration in the past trying to avoid collisions and knowing when I'm actually landing properly. The head track is great for general infantry play in Armour 3, but let's take a look at some play in the helicopter. Pilot, team Komakiru to Kamino Rahal Konga Montagre Telotebish 
دریافت شد Good cockpit view and I can see well to my left and right and all above. side to check destroyed targets. This feels natural and immersive in the game and instantly gives me feedback on any remaining helicopter drift. Head tracking allows some additional 45 degree views of my landing site prior to making an approach. This was a successful landing and a full mission complete. Thanks for watching. <laughs>